Hey guys, Mustang in here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and as you can see from the title we are jumping into the legendary Goku event using a full team of LRs using the Super Saiyan category. So we obviously have double Spirit Bomb Goku leads or Gumku as we like to call them in these parts. Um, very strong unit. I did a video showing him off at 55% after my original summon video. Um, obviously very good. The leader for Super Saiyans other than the Namek Goku. Now obviously the Namek Goku does have a higher leader skill um, but you know the whole team is LRs so every unit on the team has very high stats is a very high, a powerful unit in and of themselves so they should work very nicely. Obviously the team would be better if we were running double Namek Gokus and then a bunch of LRs but then it wouldn't be a full LR team would it? So and then the team does have some units on it that are very, very good for this event, like the AGL Gohan. Um, despite, you know, you never see his transformation, and he's not like the hardest hitting unit on the team. But because of that infinite defense stack, it means, of course, that by the time we get to the very end of the event, um, he's just going to be taking double digit damage, even from super attacks. So he is going to be very good. Actually, let's keep you around, because obviously we do want the transformation. So speaking of, we have both of the LR fusions, the Vegito and Gogeta. Very good in the legendary Goku event because of course it lasts for way longer than six turns and the chance of falling below 50% HP at pretty much any given point after the first couple of phases is rather high. Um, obviously as we get nearer to the end of the event, some of our units stack up their defense so high that normal attacks and even super attacks on certain units I'm not really going to do a lot of damage, but we have units on the team like the GoBros, like the Fusions, who when we get to like the UI stages, super attacks will still deal a lot of damage to them. So we do need to be careful with our item usage and stuff overall because, again, being under double 130% leaders, we don't have as much defense overall as we would on another team build. But we should be fine. Um... Hopefully we will get to a point, as long as we don't, like, you know, take so much damage in one turn that there's no way we, you know, can't heal because we're just so low, you know, we would absolutely not survive. We should be able to play it pretty fast and loose of our items because obviously we do want both the fusions to transform. They not only become incredibly powerful units, but they give you a free heal. Um, so that's going to be super, super useful just to the run overall. This additional super is huge for the Goku as well, because of course on his 12 key super, he greatly raises his defense. Um, and that was my one, so being 55%, getting that huge defensive buff means we can then take double digits. Obviously we want that to happen later on in the event as well, because we do want to prioritize getting the 18 key super to deal damage. But then yeah, getting that 12 key super means we're going to be able to tank really, really well. So. Obviously, both of those things very, very good here. So, okay, Vegito gets a little bit more attack from being linked with Goku. So let's do this. And then we can do this. Because, yeah, the... Oh, the extra key from the rainbow, I calculated that wrong. It wasn't quite enough. But to be perfectly honest, with a 24 key super, it's quite likely the GoBros just finish him off here. So... Because one thing about this, obviously being all LRs... Oh, wow, they didn't do quite as much as I thought. But So obviously being all LRs, uh, the whole kind of theme of the team, we don't have any support units on the team. So obviously depending on the way you build your team around certain LRs, some of these units can we can see absolutely insane attack stats with them depending on the rotation that you can get. But obviously here, we don't have any supports... Um, it's just going to be their natural attack stat from their passives and like their SA multipliers and stuff like that. But, as you can see so far, we're certainly not struggling. Um, some of these units are still able to put out monstrous amounts of damage, even with that lower leader skill. So, let's do that. And then we can get, look at that, get all of those physical orbs for Trunks. So, Trunks being the final pick of the team, I didn't really talk about him at all when we went over the other units. So... To try and make a team of full LRs, which obviously I decided would be the point of this video, 
Because um, I wanted to take Spirit Bomb Goku into the Legendary Goku event. But if I just brought the Namek Goku lead Super Saiyan's team, then obviously mine has no dupes. So I did want to be able to use a friend that actually had some dupes. I did find a 79% one to use. So I decided to do the full Super Saiyan team. Realised there were so many LRs that we could make a full LR team. And then once I grabbed those obvious easy picks for the first five slots, I was left with a couple of different options. So we obviously had the physical trunks. Uh, we had the prime battle trunks who, despite being a very good free to play unit, um, you know, he's very good against multiple opponent events, but single opponent events, he's nowhere near as good. And obviously in an event that has kind of like this level of difficulty, um, he would definitely be a liability once we get towards the end of the event. Um, then we had the Tech LR Broly. He's kind of in the same boat. Mine's only 55%. So whilst he is a monster that can put out insane attack stats, uh, his defense isn't the best. And like I say, mine has no dupes. So even if he held his own reasonably well all the way up until then, in UI Goku would be a huge problem uh, for that Broly. So... Um, should we keep this guy? I think maybe we'll keep this Vegito on rotation now because I do obviously want these guys to transform sooner rather than later. But in fact, yeah, let's get the 18 key super with this Goku because then he, uh, by not greatly raising his defense, he should take reasonable damage from this Godku in the final slot. So additional attack from Vegito obviously he's not going to take anything Gohan is probably already at the point where he's not really going to take any damage I imagine even a super attack isn't going to do much damage to him he's probably not at the point where he can take double digits from this god coup with type advantage but yeah I think a super attack now would probably only do what 50k maybe but we don't take one anyway I really doesn't super attack my Goku I mean I guess we won't die but so I guess maybe hopefully he does super attack Goku. Yeah, 50k from a normal attack. Not enough to get our health as low as we would quite like to see. But and we're gonna get a Dokon attack very soon. Hmm. It's gonna be very difficult to avoid. Yeah, I don't think we even can. Look how close that is. So, I guess we might as well just grab those and go for it. Because, <laughs> I mean, the GoBros are going to do insane damage to him here. So, unfortunately, if that does, of course, mean we are going to get a full heal. I wonder how far we could get through the event without actually seeing them transform. Oh, no, this is going very quickly. Stupid emulator. Because, um, obviously, once we get to the UI Gokus... Some of our units are going to have their defense so high that it's not going to matter. But other units are going to still take big damage, especially from supers. So I've got to be careful. We don't want to risk going into a turn and not healing. And then all of a sudden we take like a 300,000 damage super attack. Because that would be very, very bad. Um, so yeah, let's do this. We'll keep, keep Vegeta around. Obviously, if we're only going to get one out of the two to transform, I would rather it be the Vegito because then we can start getting those counters. Um, hopefully, start getting some crit counters and then, yeah, dealing a ton of free damage. So, we'll go ahead and do this. Yeah, see, Gohan taking a super. I feel like his defense is uh, going to be pretty high at this point. Oh, 87,000. That is actually slightly more than I thought. Although I guess looking at the recording time, we've only been recording for just over 9 minutes now and we're already at Blue Goku. So this team obviously shredded through the first few stages fairly quickly. Um, which of course is kind of counterintuitive to when you have units that are building up their defense over time. So it's not like we need to do that to win the event though. But yeah, like on a, on a different team it would have probably taken a little bit longer to get here so that Gohan's defense would be much much higher but I will remember to check his defense on the next turn so this could actually be a good turn though for taking damage because with all these rainbow orbs it's literally impossible for me to not get the 18 key super with uh, Gumku here so we'll go ahead and do this 
and then we'll grab all of these for you guys and then he's not getting hit anyway so grab those oh we're one short of a full 24 key super rotation so a super attack on this Goku in the first slot would actually deal quite a bit of damage. Um, he's not going to deal really any damage to the Go Bros at all. So, see, I kind of wanted him to super attack there because I feel like this is just we're not going to be able to get our health low enough again. And uh, although, okay, well, I was going to say I was going to say it looks like we're not going to finish off Blue Goku this turn. But then the GoBros getting their hidden potential additional to kick in. So yeah, we are just oh, we're just about to get to the 11 minute mark, and we are on the STR UI Goku already. So that is pretty good timing for this event, to be honest. So look at those gums. Ooh, give you nightmares. Right. <laughs> so I mean, this is this is where Gohan is going to shine like the sun. Because even a super attack is going to do double digit damage to him. Because he's got type advantage. He's got 262,000 defense. So we'll give you these. And then get a nice heal off of these. Now, do I use an item here? Because Trunks, he does raise his defense when he super attacks. I reckon he'll probably still take about 50 to 60k from normals. Um... So if we imagine that Goku normal attacks all throughout this rotation, we're still going to be on around 450,000 HP. Would he deal 350,000 damage to this Trunks with a super attack? I feel like he wouldn't. Um, but of course, if I use like uh, if I use an Icarus or something here, and then he doesn't super attack Trunks, it will mean the normal attacks will do so little damage that we basically have no chance of transforming there either. So I'm going to do this. And we're going to... Oh, well, there you go. So, he didn't super Trunks, which means... Oh, wow, 35k. That is actually still slightly more. I really thought he'd be taking double digits at this point. I guess after this super, maybe, because this super attack will then push his defense to being almost 300,000. Um, but I thought the type advantage would be enough. So, that's pretty good. Trunks, I'm really interested to see how much Trunks is going to take. I reckon it'll be around 50k. Maybe 60 at like high end. Depends I guess of course as well if he gets an additional super. Because he raises his defense when he super attacks. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, well, I mean, it worked out perfectly really. But, oof. That's, uh, that was, no I was not expecting that. <laughs> okay, that was a lot of damage from normal attacks. Jeez. Um, okay, well, I mean, we got what we wanted out of it, technically, because we got our transformation. Unfortunately, with Gogeta and not with uh, Vegito, but... Uh, yeah, we'll do this. I feel like even a super attack in that back end is not going to do, like, 400,000 damage to Gogeta, so... And at least we have type advantage here. Still 120k though. Hmm. I wonder how much his normal. No way will he do as much damage to Gogeta with a normal attack as he did to Trunks, right? No way. Although, would that even put us in Vegito transformation range? Maybe. See, so that's the thing. Goku super attacking right at the start of the turn can be good because obviously we know now we're not getting super attacked again. So, I would imagine it's impossible for us to die this turn. Yeah, there's no way he does 400,000 damage to Gogeta with one normal attack. Um, <laughs> so, Gogeta is, of course, super effective now. So, could he finish him off? How much health did he have left? Oh, no, he's got loads of health left. <laughs> yeah, 56,000. That's kind of more what I was expecting to take with Gogeta, if I'm, uh, with Trunks, if I'm completely honest with you. But... And this is going to be a big boy damage turn. So we'll give you all of those. Vegito. He's going to die by the time Vegito attacks, right? Because we will take... Vegito specifically, not really anyone else. But Vegito will probably take like 250k from a super. So 
I don't want him to get super attacked, but I feel like Goku will probably be dead before we get there. Especially if we start getting additional super attacks. And he doesn't dodge any of them. So... Although, I don't know. He's actually going to have a fair bit more health left than I expected. Depends... Oh, yeah, I was going to say, depends if he dodges this. I swear the dodge face is like super early on in that animation. I expected it to be a bit later than that. And he still hasn't super attacked yet, has he? Oh god. Don't, don't do this to me. Don't super attack me now for like 350,000. Okay, did, we're going to get an additional super. Okay. Is this going to be enough with a crit maybe? No, okay. 17,000, that's not too bad. Oh, look how close we are to being under the thing. Oh, but Goku's going to kill him, which means it's a risk. Although, I guess, actually, yeah, what we can do. So we'll do this, which will take out this Goku. And then going into the Int UI, I'm actually going to grab all these same type orbs. Get a little bit of healing. Because then what I'll do, on the first turn of Int UI, I will use a Whis. Not, not even just an Icarus, a full-on Whis. Because then it means we don't have to heal. And we... Who's on this rotation? Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Super attack. Who will take the most damage from a super attack? Probably Goku, by quite a significant margin. So... I feel like the Whis might actually be too much. Because if he super attacks Gogeta, we might still take a little bit of damage with an Icarus active. But I feel like with a Whis active, we just wouldn't. So let's do this. And then I will avoid same type orbs here. Give you those. And then we'll get the... Yeah, we'll get the 12 key super with my Goku. Just because obviously he is only 55%. So we'll give him that greatly raise his defense. And then obviously Gogeta and uh, Gohan are just not going to take any damage at all from normal attacks. So... It all kind of comes down to where Goku decides to super on this and the next turn. Because obviously the Icarus is still going to be active next turn as well. But if he supers Gohan, Gohan, I think, with his defense, yeah, of course. So with his defense as high as it will be now, plus the Icarus, I feel like this is going to be double digits. <laughs> or single digit, okay. <laughs> Nine damage. Hardest event in the game. Ladies and gentlemen, nine damage from a super attack. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, look at that. This Goku taking more damage from a normal than Gohan took from a super attack. That's hilarious. Um, right, so... This is in tricky because I don't want the Gobros to get supered. We kind of need to keep Goku on rotation because... Uh, sorry, not Goku, uh, Vegito. Because um, otherwise, we don't want to drop below 50% health after we literally just put them in the third slot and then we're not going to see them for three turns. So we'll do this. Uh, the Icarus is still active because I feel like the Go Bros specifically, with that many attacks against them at the end, their defense should be high enough to handle normal attacks with the Icarus active easily. But a super attack, because they're going to have type disadvantage, could still be pretty powerful against them. So we'll see here. And then of course we got the next turn. <clears throat> the next turn is where ideally we want to fall below 50% HP and then I can just use a Whis and that should keep us safe. But yeah, see look, no damage from normal attacks and then no super. Oh, this Goku. <clears throat> he supers you right where you don't want him to when you don't want him to and then doesn't super you at all when you're actually looking to get supered in a specific slot. So let's put you first since then we can actually get you your 18 key super. Um, he does get extra key from rainbow orbs. Is that enough? It is. Perfect. And then... See now I feel like we don't need to use an item because... Yeah, <laughs> Gohan has 400,000 defense. So, and then everyone else has type advantage. So we should be fine, right? Like, we shouldn't die this turn, right? I mean, Trunks, even with type advantage, is probably the one that's going to take the most damage. But 
Is he really going to take 360,000 damage from three attacks? I certainly don't think so. But who knows? I have been wrong before. Okay, so he didn't super attack Gohan, which is actually good. Because I feel like Gohan easily is going to take the least damage from a super. And then Gogeta. No crit, but pretty decent damage. Still takes a little bit from normals, but nothing too crazy. So what is this going to do? I feel like this is still going to do at least, what, 50, 60? 114! Wow, that's more than I thought. Well, there you go. That's the uh, under 50% HP for the next turn. Because, <laughs> yeah, he's still dealing 37k to Trunks. So, boom! Finally, here he comes. Our boy, LR Super Vegito. Which, of course, gives us a full heal. Perfect timing. Uh... We do have the double Gokus though, which is not ideal. I think this is this is a good turn to use an item. Because <laughs> uh, even being on full health, if this Goku gets super attacked in the first slot or the last slot, we actually could potentially die. So I will actually go ahead and use a Whis. Because then that pretty much literally flips the scale and we should take next to no damage this turn now. So we'll get these for you. These for you. And then, you know what, let's just get an 18 key super for our Goku. Why not? We got a Whis active, let's go crazy. We don't need to get him the extra defense. I mean, this guy, the friend, has two dupes and he's taking double digits with the Whis active. So, hopefully our 55% Goku will be okay at the end. Even if he ends up taking like 10k from each attack, that's not exactly the end of the world. He's getting attacked once. So, how dare you dodge Vegito to pay for that? Take a crit counter to the face for like almost a million damage. Yeah, see, non-crit one, still 300,000. That's still extra uh, extra damage. You can't complain. I mean, three non-crit counters is still a million damage. But there's another crit. So, yeah. That was, what, two crits, two non-crits? So, we did, what, 2.5 million damage for free? <laughs> just from counter-attacking his own attacks. That's uh, that's what you like to see. And then the Whis is active. So this is going to be all she wrote, I think, this turn. Unless he goes absolutely dodge mad. So let's do this. Get an 18 key super for you. Ooh. Oh, there's not enough. I was going to say, this could, we could be looking at a full 24 key super turn here. Nah, it's not going to bring down enough. Um, actually, what about these fizz orbs? Give me more fizz orbs. No. Not quite. Not quite. But, I mean, this should be the last turn. Icarus is active. So, even if the Gobros take a super attack, we're on full health. It's not like we're going to die. Uh, Gogeta should deal some decent damage even without a crit. Yep, 1.5. Well, maybe, actually, I don't know. Gobros... I mean, the Gobros, of course, have the possibility to absolutely pop off and attack multiple times. But there you go. He dodges the first super. The additional super at 2.8, though. Sadly, no crit. Yeah, see, that's the problem. Dodges their main super, then no crit on the follow-up means not a huge amount of damage. And then he dodges Gohan as well. You cheeky so-and-so. Family-friendly. Um, right, so... I guess UI Goku has decided... That he wants to get counter-attacked into oblivion. And if that's what he so chooses, then who am I to stand in his way? So, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll give you those. And then... We'll give you these. So, a super attack on Vegito would be bad. I I'm talking like 300k bad, probably. But it's not enough to kill us. So, crit counter. Okay, he didn't like that. He did not like that. So here comes the super. I reckon, like I say, I reckon this is going to be like 300k. Yeah, 279. Close enough. But that's it, boy. You're out of supers for the turn now. So counter-attack. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Counter-attack. I mean, obviously, we're the damage is dropping. We, uh, You really need to hit Goku with a lot of like defense lowering and stuff if you want counter-attacks to actually do big damage. Because unless they get crits... Then they're just not going to do much. Is Trunks actually going to finish him off here? Oh no. we still got more counters to go. I was going to say, I wasn't sure how much damage. Ooh, so yeah, Spirit Bomb Goku. This is very appropriate considering 
it's his celebration. He's the man of the hour. So flash those gums and uh, destroy in UI Goku. And there you go. There's that nightmare fuel once more. <laughs> it's the only thing I don't like about the unit. If they removed that frame from his super attack animation, I feel like I'd be so more hyped about this Spirit Bomb Goku. But, I mean, it's a meme, and we've got to be thankful for the memes, so there you go. So, that is the full LR Super Saiyan team taking down the legendary Goku event, even though we had the slightly lower leader skill. Obviously, not the fastest run, because the lower attack stat overall from the leader skill and no support units mean we didn't deal quite as much damage. But we did only use two items, and uh, we got to see both the fusions transform. And yeah, I would say that was a solid run. So there you go. Not bad for a fun little theme team. As always, I do take suggestions for themed teams. If you have any, leave them in the comments. Any sort of things like that, viewer challenges, things like that, are always fun to do on the channel. I love doing that kind of stuff. So if you have any ideas, let me know down below in the comments section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. You can follow me on Twitch or join my Discord. The link is in the description. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.